Hey guys, in this Premiere Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to zoom in on a picture. Now, in the first example, we're going to zoom in into the center of the image. That's the default. And then I'm going to show you how to zoom in on a specific area of a picture by changing the anchor point. Make sure to click on the image on your timeline that you want to zoom out or zoom in on. Now, with your image selected, press Shift 5, and that will open the effect controls. Position your playhead on the timeline where you want the zoom effect to start. Now click on the stopwatch icon next to scale. That's going to create a keyframe at the current playhead location on the timeline. Now drag your playhead on the timeline to a position where you want the zoom effect to stop, whether you're zooming out or zooming in. Now go back to the scale controls and change the scale to some other value. I'm going to enter 200 here. We increase the value, so that's going to create a zoom in effect on your image. Now, if you enter the 300%, the zoom effect would be a bit faster than this. So, I'm going to reset my workspace and I'm going to show you how to zoom in on a specific part of an image. So, let's go ahead and drag the playhead to the place where we want the effect to start. Now double click on the image and you will see in the center there's an anchor point. So go ahead and drag this anchor point to the area of interest. Now go into the upper left corner again and click on the stopwatch next to scale. Now move the playhead again to where you want the zoom effect to stop. And again in the upper left corner change the value of the scale. Here I'm going to do 300. At this point, the zoom effect has been applied to the image, so let's go ahead and play the video to see what happens. As you can see, we are zooming in on a specific place on our image, which is determined by the anchor point. To zoom out, you would do pretty much exactly the same thing that we've done in the previous example, but instead, you would set the scale keyframe to a lesser value. 